2011's seminal release, Dark Souls, is the Dark Souls of Dark Souls games. Known for setting the standard for difficulty, well, at least among gamers who love to run into crowds of enemies while mindlessly hammering random buttons on their controller and hoping that's somehow a viable strategy, it's so influential that it's even spawned its own genre, 90% of which is $2 garbage on Steam designed by people whose anime collection exceeds their motor skills. But what the hell is it all about? A long time ago, in a galaxy far away, everything was grey, and there were some dragons who sat around doing not very much, and it was boring as shit, until someone accidentally started a fire, and then this one group of friends, including Bone Lord Doot, Hot Topic Girl, Gwyn Stefani, and, I don't know, some other guy, were like, this is fucking lit, yo, and tried to get the dragons to party. But the dragons didn't want a party, except for this one dude called Seath. So Gwyn said, get the fuck out, this is my house now, and everyone partied hard for a while. But then the next morning, the fire started to go out, and everyone had shitty hangovers that literally turned them into zombies. You wake up in a hotel room, dehydrated as fuck, looking like Iggy Pop had sex with a raisin, and meet Oscar, the cover art guy, who gives you a caramel macchiato and tells you to get your shit together and head to a place called Laudrin to get the party started again. So you beat up the cleaning lady for the keys and get kidnapped by a bird who takes you to the Firelink Shrine to begin your journey. At Firelink, you meet a joyous little ray of sunshine of a man who tells you that you need to ring two doorbells and run away like a naughty child. So you set out to find the first doorbell in the undead burg. Upon reaching a toll bridge, you realise you left your wallet at home, so you pay the toll in demon blood and make your way towards the undead parish, where you come across Dayman, fighter of the Nightman, a friendly fellow who likes nothing more than staring at the sun until his eyeballs bleed. At the top of the parish, you show some annoying pigeons the power of your electric sword and ring doorbell number one, before heading down into the depths of Dog Poop Swamp, stopping off along the way to check out some fine WAP. After being poisoned approximately 6,279 times in the swamp, you make your way to Quaylag, the only boss to make me reconsider my blanket ban on sex with spiders, and you defeat her by trapping her in a glass and yeeting her into the bushes. You ring doorbell number two, and this makes a giant angry. So you trek back to Chuck E. Cheese's fuck house of fun, play some boulder dash, meet a fat lad, summon Tarkus to be an absolute chad, and collectively bully Robocop until he lets you touch his shiny ring. Some flying rats carry you away. You land at the top of An Orlando, catching your breath at the beautiful vista before you. And the real Dark Souls begins here. Well, here specifically. Oh. And here. Inside Anor Londo, you catch up with your creepy sunstalker again and help Biggie Smalls to stop being such a useless wuss. And then you make your way into the heart of the city to battle the infamous Keenan and Kel. The mighty giants are felled, and you head upstairs for your ultimate reward a date with the breast, I mean, best waifu Guinevere, princess of sunlight and goddess of gratuitous tits. Guinevere tells you that to get the party started again, you need to make some delicious soup. So she gives you a bowl and sends you on your way to forage for ingredients. Fed up with being catfished, you take the perfectly reasonable step of killing her, which is fine because she's just an illusion like all the women in my life. And then you head back to Firelink Shrine where you meet Frampt, a toothy nightmare who tells you the ingredients you'll need for the soup. Herbs, mushrooms, bones for the bone broth, udon noodles, something spicy, and, uh, forks? Because they're the fork kings? Uh, people eat soup with forks? Maybe? Okay, look, this joke was dead in the water a while back, but sometimes you just have to keep powering through, you know? Road trip time. First up is Harry Potter's magical world of bullshit, where you get killed by a dragon, get sent to prison for having the audacity to die to a dragon, break out of prison using your amazing lockpicking skills, find the dragon again, and senselessly hit the lumbering idiot until it dies. Next up is the OH MY GOD MY EYES ARE BURNING MAKE IT STOP ruins, where you hook up with Sunflower again to handle a small bug problem, and then you squish some crickets to get a really cool hat. 
but this makes Sunboy very sad because it was a really cool hat and he really wanted it. Well, fuck you, Sunboy. It's mine. Beyond your sobbing friend, you head down the slip and slide to the area's boss. The bed of, are you fucking serious right now? That hole? Again? Arsehole. After beating its RNG, you go bone hunting through the catacombs, pausing to defeat the hardest boss in the game. And you find yourself in the worst area in the game. Having a really cool hat helps a lot though. Good thing we got one of those. By the time you reach the next boss, the last boss has already been demoted to basic bitch enemy, and you dive into the pit to face off with the fearsome Grave Lord Nito, Lord of the Dead, bringer of pestilence, master of massacre, champion of... Oh, he's dead. That was easy. One final ingredient to get, so we're off to Spooky Town to get ghost banged. And to do this, we definitely don't have to go and kill a big fluffy dog first, no. Cause he's such a good boy, isn't it? Aren't you such a good boy? Aren't you? Because killing dogs is cruel, so of course we don't do that. Underneath Spooky Town, we find the four kings, actual amount of kings may vary, and tank all their pathetic swipes until they're no more, because these guys hit like a damp sock. Finally, all our ingredients have been collected. So it's off to make soup and take some to old man Gwyn, hiding away in his luxury apartment block. You holler at your sombro for one last time, and step into the arena bearing hot soupy gifts. However, Gwyn really isn't in the mood for soup today. Now, some might say it's distasteful to beat an old man senseless, but that's exactly what happens here, and who am I to judge? Everyone's happy, because you can get the party started again. But by now the hangover's worn off, and you can't be fucked. So you turn round and head home instead, past your horde of adoring fans, the final credits roll, and you've completed Dark Souls. That's it. No more jokes. Go away. Shoo. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.